Hey guys, today I will show you how to create this bush using Speedtree and my approach to creating cluster texture using Photoshop. To create the leaf cluster texture, it was a combination of line and ellipse tool. A line followed by a combination of warped ellipses is used to create those shapes. After that, I merged individual clusters as a separate pieces and added a slight color variation to each cluster. This essentially represents the entire base color. From that, I selected all clusters with a magic wand, inverted the mask and created a layer mask, which then selected with a Ctrl-C shortcut, created a new layer and pasted it. White values are what will be visible once rendered. The subsurface amount texture is a duplicate of the color texture that was desaturated using Ctrl-Shift-U shortcut. Once those textures are imported, make sure to turn on two-sided option so the clusters can be visible from front and back and create cutouts in the cutout tab. Here is a quick time lapse of my cutouts. For the stem material, I created it directly inside of Speedtree. To create it, click on the plus minus button and create new material and call it somehow so it makes sense. The bush starts with the main tubes from which small branches will grow. The mod I used is a proportional steps with a value of 7, which will create 7 tubes. On those tubes, the only thing I changed is the radius under the skin tab and flattened the curve, so radius will be proportional along the whole tube from start to end. To add previously created stem material, go to the material tab and select it. After that is an important part of creating bush shape itself. You have to have a geometry that will represent your future bush shape. It has to have normals also. To add a mesh, click on the plus button and load your file. After that, hover your mouse over the viewport, right click, add force, geometry and add just added geometry. Then you will see a transparent object in the viewport. To scale it, use gizmo handles or transform section in the properties tab. After that, a little branches preset goes into play with the gen mod set to proportional and the value of 36, which is 36 branches. Boundaries first option can be used to make branches appear only at the top of the main tubes. Play around with it to get something you are looking for. I have randomized the percent of the parent length, start angle and break amount, so some branches can be broken. Then I used little branches preset once again, but changed its skin type from polygons to spine only, as there will be a lot of branches, and the poly count will be huge. The generation mode was set to absolute with a number value of 35. The first boundary value was set to 09 and the last value was set to 099. Most likely it will look like a mess right now if you are following along with the video. To make it look like a bush, move imported geometry force so it covers the main branches and almost fully secondary branches like you can see on the screen. Select little branches, go to the force tab and enable checkbox for imported geometry force object, which in my case called bush shape. Play around with the force slider to get the look you're after. I used a value of 5. Other settings were all by default. And lastly, leaves. I used horold preset on the leaves batched. Children per note is set to 3 randomized spiral value and also randomized rotation, position and size. For material, I have added three materials to control each leaf weight variation separately. Changed boundaries first value to 0.98, so leaves appear almost at the very tip of every branch. It helps to optimize poly count. To break up the shape a little bit at the top, I added another node of little branches preset that was converted into spines. I made sure that the branch length is very small, so I changed percent of the parent length to the small value and randomized it a little bit. Changed the generation mode to interval, set frequency value of 10 and randomize it to plus or minus 5, so it will have more of your branches. Then I simply duplicated the leaf node and changed values a little bit. 
to add wind, I used a bush preset which was slightly modified. By first of all adding a wind animation to spines on the branches. The main thing here is to lower the bend and speed value so that leaves are not bending or flying all over the place. Then increased value in the flexibility parameter of the whole bush, it kind of simulates wind gusts more towards the top of the bush. And that's pretty much how it was done. If you found it useful, give a like, subscribe or share with a friend. Source files are available at my Patreon. See you in the next project very soon. Take care, have a lot of joy.